Now, the New South Wales and Queensland governments are in a battle over land tax, with the Palaszczuk government looking to boost its revenue by roping into its calculations properties in other states. This is quite outrageous. From June next year, Queensland res residents will have their land tax, their state land tax, calculated according to the value of all property they own across the country. That is, including properties in other states. So anyone with investment properties in multiple states with a Queensland property as one of them is going to be hit by this if the total value of their portfolio is over the $600,000 threshold. How could you be below that? The New South, Wales, New South Wales government is looking to stonewall this plan by refusing to hand over crucial data required to implement the policy. Who owns what, where in New South Wales? Let's bring in da Damien Tudor, Hope, who's the New South Wales Finance Minister. This is quite a stouch here, Damien. Uh, you're just not going to give Queensland the information they want to find out uh, who owns property in both Queensland and New South Wales. Well, Chris, uh, this is an astonishing tax in many respects, and I've never heard the like of it, where the Queensland government is seeking to raise tax from New South Wales taxpayers based on the land holding which they have in New South Wales. Now, uh, this is a Labor strategy, and, I, and one of the really astonishing things is we're not hearing any complaint by the Labor governments of South Australia or Victoria. And, and you've got to ask yourself, is this a new form of Labor tax strategy where we, in fact, are going to the taxpayers of other states so we don't go to the, get a backlash in our own state and, in, in fact, we raise taxation from the mums and dads of other states? And I have to say that the New South Wales government, to the extent that we have our resources or the Queensland government re relies on our resources, we won't be cooperating to supply any of that information. Do you think that this uh, tax arrangement is constitutional? If you have any doubts, will you test it? Well, uh, I, I think that there are people already looking to see whether the constitutionality of that. The, the Queensland government will say this is just a, a question of there's a different rate of taxation payable according to whether you hold... Uh, assets in other states. But the fact of the matter is they are targeting the taxpayers who are located in another state. And I think there are serious constitutional uh, issues which need to be tested and uh, to the extent that the, that, that will, may occur, it, it just strikes me uh, that we ought to be looking at it. But fundamentally, you've got to say, is this, a, is this something which Labor states are now engaging on and having discussions around for the purposes of identifying a tax base in circumstances where they are raising tax, tax not from their own con uh, uh, voters, but from the voters uh, of other states. And it is a really serious problem uh, in circumstances where we've already had a recalcitrant trait like Queensland, who we have looked after people returning from overseas, put them up in accommodation in New South Wales, and there was an agreement that they would pay for, for that service which New South Wales provided. Well, I can tell you today, as of this afternoon, $117 million is still owing by the state of Queensland. They to still New haven't South paid. Wales they still haven't paid those COVID bills. They still haven't they paid still, those COVID bills, yet they're still, still trying to slug New Correct. South Wales taxpayers. Extraordinary. Absolutely. So uh, Palaszczuk has a significant debt problem because of the manner in which they run their state. We, we in fact, went up, bent over backwards to help returning citizens to this country where they didn't have the resources or the health system to be able to, uh, to, to deliver it. And yet they, they, in fact, don't pay the bill. We do. And now they want to tax the taxpayers of New South Wales to increase the bottom line of Queensland. You can't be surprised that we're outraged by it and we will do whatever we can to protect uh, the mum and dad taxpayers of, the, of this state who might ha have holiday homes or the like in Queensland uh, from paying additional tax. I'm yeah. outraged by it. I, can do it. I think it is a most disgraceful uh, attempt to uh, raise a new tax from New South Wales residents. Thanks for joining us, Damien Tudorhope.